All right. No plan. No plan. On the down beat of one. So, uh, when I, I'll still be counting off four on this thing. And this way you definitely know when the upstroke should be coming in. Uh, one thing to focus on is remember you're going to be hitting the chord change on the upstroke. So something that you could do, I think we did this yesterday, I just focus on what's highlighted right now. And this way you can focus on hitting those chord changes. And of course you can do that with any of the chord changes. But uh, here we go at 60. One, two, three, four. And two, three, four, and, and two. So, just remember when you do the repeats, have this F5 chord ring out across the down beat of one. So that's just on the repeat there. All right, here is 90. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four, and, 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 and two, three, four, and. Time you need to just revert back to just counting along with the metronome certainly helps in getting everything ready for the old brain to handle uh, one point you may want to focus on I think it was going from uh, bar 3 into 4 so if you need to just focus on this that's totally fine uh, in fact anytime you find this being extra troublesome focus on that for sure so just like number one we just went over you're going to have that upstroke chord change that happens here all right here we go with the old 60. one two three four one two and and four one and three four one two Come up, let me know, and I'll see you again on Tuesday.